that a lot of people, they are good at doing their core task. So for example, if you are doing a software engineering, software design, software, something like that, people are very good at what they do. And it's the same with someone who's a baker, someone who is a chef. All of these people, they're good at their craft, but they're not good at the business side. And what they say, there's a very famous guy, his name is Peter Drucker. He said that business is only about two things. Number one is innovation, which is basically new ways of adding value. So how do you add value to the person that you're selling to? So one is new ways of adding value. And the second thing is marketing. He said business is that simple. Innovation, marketing. Now, when it comes to innovation, this is like, how do I do software development? How do I do even better software development? How do I find new ways of doing software development? How do I choose cheaper software development? How do I do quicker software development? How do I do better software development? It's all the adding value. The second part is marketing. And most people, most human beings, they're very good in their own innovation thing. They're very bad at marketing. So anyone who wants to become really good at business, I would say you have to work on your marketing. You have to learn about marketing. You have to learn about sales. That is where the focus is. Because if you know how to get customers, that is the most important thing. You know, even me, if I wanted to start a software business today, it's very easy. Why? Because I would just do the marketing. I would find someone like yourself, we would partner up, and then we would basically start a business. Because if you know how to do the marketing, you know how to sell, you know how to get customers, doing the work is actually the easy part. So if you want to build the business, I would say definitely focus on learning marketing. And so if you're going to do one hour a day, I wouldn't spend my one hour on software development. Why? Because I've just spent five years doing software development. I don't need so much software development. What I need is marketing. How do I put myself out there? How do I write my description? What kind of pricing do I have? What kind of promotions do I have? You know, all of this stuff, this is all marketing. So I would get really good at this stuff. If I was going to do business rather than uh, freelancing, I would read some books like The 4-Hour Workweek. I would definitely read that book. I think it's a very, very beneficial book for you to read. And then, and then also, also the, the Lean, lean startup. startup. If I was going to do some Lean, lean, lean. if I was going to start a full long business, business, I would do the Lean Startup. But 4-Hour Workweek is a good one. Also, what I would do is if I was going to do freelancing, maybe I would go on YouTube and I would find people that specialize in trying to make a certain amount of money with freelancing, make $5,000 a month or $2,000. I would go on YouTube, I would see who are the people that are doing it, who are giving advice, and then I would look for a recipe. I would look for a course where someone is teaching me how to do freelancing in a specific area, how to win Fiverr gigs, how to do this, how to do that, and I would just follow the recipe. And then also what you need to know is that business is one of those things which is basically a game of consistency. It's a game of persistence and consistency. So you've got to make sure that, you know, this is not going to get solved in two weeks of you doing uh, a Fiverr. This is something that's going to take you building yourself up, building your skills up, trial, error, trial, error, trial, error, trial, error, and then you hitting something like, okay, this is working, let me do more of it, let me do more of it, all of this stuff. So for me, I think the practical actions for you are do uh, go through the four hour work week if you haven't done that already. And then the second thing is to go on YouTube, find people that, are, that know really a lot about freelancing and making a lot of money through freelancing follow them, follow their content. And eventually if you find someone trustworthy and good, I would actually buy their program. I would follow what they say. And then I would basically build my uh, career based on that.